Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So many of you might be investing through mutual funds and almost every single month we end up doing SIPs. But let me tell you that almost 90% of you are making a mistake. And let me prove it to you by asking three simple questions. Please think about it. Please comment below what your answer is and you yourself will see that you are making huge mistakes that will cost you lakhs and lakhs of your money in terms of your entire portfolio, your entire life. So let's get started. And question number one is that do you know when you need to sell your mutual funds? Now you'll say that Akshat, ye kya baat kar di? Sell mutual funds. Mutual funds are here. We long term investor. Hai. We always invest like with a 10 year, 15 year viewpoint, this, that. Bhai, the simple point that you need to understand is that you keep the profits that you make. You don't just simply get rich by keeping money invested. Markets dance around, they come down to the same level and you as a simple mutual fund investor might not see any growth for 2 to 3, 3 years. So please understand when to sell your mutual fund. Question number two, how do you buy mutual funds? You'll say that agent comes and you know, he or she shows me this chart that in quant mutual fund mein, it has given returns of like 25% CAGR each year. So therefore it is a great mutual fund and therefore I will continue to do SIPs. Okay, very good logic. Now here is a chart for Hindustan Unilever. In the last five years, it has given a total return of roughly 95%. So if you do on a CAGR basis, it will come out to be approximately 20% CAGR. Now by this logic, you should sell everything today, even your house, even your car, even your phone and invest all your money in Hindustan Unilever. What is the logic here? Because the historic return of Hindustan Unilever has been a CAGR of 20%. Therefore, it will forever grow at 20%. This is the same dumb logic that people use in terms of investing money in mutual funds. I will show you an entire case study of quant mutual fund and I will prove it to you why it makes less sense now to take positions in it. Now comes the third and final question that do you know how much part of your profits you are paying to mutual fund agents or mutual fund managers? If you are a regular mutual fund investor and you don't know how much profits you are paying out of your own pocket to these middlemen, then again, you are doing yourself a disservice because you are giving up so much of your profits away. So if you don't have understanding of these three questions, and if you are still going ahead and investing crazy amount of money in mutual funds, please watch this video. You will get a lot of useful information. Meanwhile, if you are interested in stock markets and if you are building some positions, I keep on getting questions that Akshat, where are you investing? Right now, I'm building a lot of positions in mutual funds. I will show you which ones and I keep on talking about this on my member community also. Number two, I'm investing quite aggressively in US index also. Many of you ask me how to do it. So for that, you can go and check out Vested. It's a wonderful US stock investing platform and you can easily buy and sell US stocks and US indices directly. So again, you can check my US stock portfolio in the comment box. So give it a go. So on this video, let me discuss six very important undiscussed things about mutual funds and how it impacts your overall portfolio. Please understand this. Please listen to this video carefully and please make notes and share it with your family members and friends because there is hardly any information like this which is available in books. All these things I have learned from practical experience and I will prove it to you quantitatively. So hit the like button and we will get started. Okay, so you have not hit the like button. Please hit it now. Please hit it now and let's get started. So point number one that you must know about mutual fund investing is that you must have a very clear understanding as to why you are purchasing a particular style of mutual fund. Now, picking mutual funds is getting even more complicated than picking individual stocks because there are so many different types of mutual funds. If I start discussing every single type of mutual fund that is out there, it will take me two days. Then I will have to upload a 48 hour video and no one will watch it. But here are very quick basics that I will explain by using examples and these might help you out. So for example, one of the most popular mutual funds is called as Nifty 50 index. Now, what exactly is index investing? What exactly is Nifty 50? Let me just break it apart. So when it comes to index investing, there are different different types of indices in India. For example, there is a small cap index. There is a mid cap index. There is a large cap or Nifty 50 index. So there are different different types of indices. Now, for example, if you consider Nifty 50, then it indicates that this is the collection of top 50 companies in India. This would include companies like HDFC Bank, Hindustan Unilever, Nestle. So all these are big big companies now let's say that you are a new mutual fund investor what is the first thought process that you will have you will say yaar, ko safe investing karni hai. i want to invest money in some kind of safe asset then that is the goal with which you are entering into mutual fund and from that perspective if you are investing your money in nifty 50 index mutual fund then your money is relatively safer why is it safer? Because Nifty 50 is the collection of top 50 companies in India. And it won't 
कि आगे चल के नेस्ले इज गोइंग टू गो बैंक क्राफ्ट और एच यू एल इज गोइंग टू गो बैंक क्राफ्ट इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव सेवन ईयर्स इट माइट हैपन दैट आउट ऑफ फिफ्टी टॉप कंपनीज मे बी थ्री और फोर विल गो बैंक क्राफ्ट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू स्लाइटली रिस्क फ्री इन्वेस्टिंग इन म्यूचुअल फंड वॉट टाइप ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड यू शुड पिक यू शुड पिक निफ्टी फिफ्टी इंडेक्स म्यूचुअल फंड नाउ यू माइट हैव अ काउंटर क्वेश्चन की नहीं अक्षत यू नो वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू गिव माई मनी टू एन एक्सपर्ट दैट एक्सपर्ट इज गोइंग टू रोटेट माई पोर्टफोलियो गिव मी मोर रिटर्न दिस दैट एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो इन्वेस्ट माई मनी इन दीज लार्ज कैप कंपनीज नो वाई शुड यू नॉट डू इट ओके सो एज पर सेवरल रिसर्च इज इट हैज बीन क्वांटिटेटिवली प्रोवन दैट अप्रोक्सिमेटली सेवेंटी एट परसेंट ऑफ लार्ज कैप म्यूचुअल फंड इन इंडिया डू नॉट बीट द इंडेक्स विच इज द निफ्टी फिफ्टी इंडेक्स और सेंसेक्स इंडेक्स सो दैट एंटायर थियोरी क्या रहे म्यूचुअल फंड मैनेजर को पैसा दे देते हैं दे विल बी एबल टू बीट द मार्केट Statistically, that is incorrect. So, to cut the long story short, if you are just getting started in mutual fund industry and if you want to pour in your money in the safe mutual funds, then what type of mutual fund you need to pick? Then you need to pick Nifty Fifty Index mutual funds. Now, see, guys, I am not plugging any company here. This is an honest information. I am just telling you Nifty Fifty. You can go and pick from any company wherever expense ratio falana deem ka is low. So, I hope you got the point. Now, there are a series of mutual fund investors. They say, "Yar, you know what? Hamey to paisa kamana hai dabake." right we want to grow our money therefore we are entering the market so how about we invest in like small cap and mid cap mutual funds okay now at least 95% of people will be making this mistake that i am going to discuss now these small cap companies are risky company therefore it is called as small cap that these are small small companies which are not very very big like hindustan unilever hdfc so they become slightly more risky now there is an index called as small cap nifty 100 Now you can go and invest in that. Now what are you going to assume that yeah I am going to invest in this small cap Nifty hundred. Now this is the best hundred small cap company in India. Yes, theoretically you are right. But have you ever done any research as to how many small cap companies go completely bankrupt? Well, the answer is that almost fifty percent of small cap companies will go bankrupt after every economic downturn. This is the data that comes from one of the resources that I am quoting here. So, if you want to grow your money in small cap, mid cap companies, what type of small cap companies or small cap index you should be picking? Well, you should be going and picking something called a small cap Nifty two fifty. Okay, why two fifty? because see then you are doing highly averaging you are creating a bigger portfolio out of this yes almost 50% companies will go bankrupt but your risk is hedged across a bigger portfolio so i am not getting into the details of it but i hope you got the basic perspective that when you are doing nifty 50 you are trying to pick the best companies there it makes sense to invest in something like nifty 50 not nifty next 50 which is becoming one of the most popular mutual funds in india but on the flip side if you are picking small cap indices is you should diversify your risk across a range of different stocks now the second key point that you must know is that winners will not continue to be winners in the mutual fund industry a classic case in point is what is happening with quant mutual fund right now i am doing a prognosis here as to what will happen with the fund these are personally my opinion this is not statistically proven thing but as an investor i have every right to do prognosis on certain stocks certain mutual funds so i am 100% legal here i am not trying to do any fear mongering okay so let me walk you through the thought process of investors in mutual funds and then let me relate it to what is happening with quant mutual fund now when people want to invest in mutual funds their first reaction is kya google kar lenge so they will go and do best mutual funds to invest in india 2023 and then they will go and open up some article lot of good good things will be written that three year return has been 52% five year return has been 24% tata digital has even 29 23 this that right so you will get super impressed ki bhai saab purane zamane mein to isme 25% return aa chuke hain to 100% aage chal ke bhi 25% return aayenge this is absolutely nonsense i had already given you an example of hindustan unilever that by that logic the stock has been given 20% kagar every year so you should sell everything and invest all your money in hindustan unilever only why are you even considering going to mutual funds right so i hope you got the point now let us contextualize that to quants mutual fund which is literally india's best performing mutual fund if you read this tab you will see that quant funds have outperformed the market that in small cap category the average return has been 32 quant has given 76 in that specific category similarly in active it has given 43 category average is 18% so on and so forth and you will see like good good things written about this fund and people get like super impressed yaar 
52% return on quant mutual fund. I'm going to invest all my money, time to sell my house, this, that. Okay, should you do it? Please understand basic points and please start looking at data. Now there are three data points that I will share. Data number one is that has quant mutual fund outperformed the industry in every segment? Yes, 100% yes. Will it continue to do it? That's a separate question that requires a little bit of analysis. So for this, take a look at this data and what you will see is that this talks about portfolio turnover ratio of quant mutual fund. So you will see that in the large and mid cap fund, their portfolio turnover is 222. So which means that they have turned around their portfolio 2.2 times. What it simply means is that for example, if I have 10 stocks in my portfolio, I sell it once, then I buy it once, then I sell it twice, then I buy it twice, right? So this is two times churn that has happened in quant mutual fund. Now you'll say that, okay, you are talking about some technical stuff. Why do I bother about it? Okay, the point that you need to see here is that quant mutual fund is doing very high churning. So what is the meaning of churning? Khareedna bechna. That is what churning means. The industry average is not more than 60 to 70 percent. They don't turn around their portfolio. And here quant mutual fund is doing 222 percent churn in their portfolio. Because you need to first and foremost decode the strategy as to why quant mutual fund is doing that. Because if that strategy will continue to work, it makes a lot of sense to keep all your money invested in it. Now comes the third data point, which has to do with AUM. AUM means that how much money quant mutual fund is currently managing. And this is a data that is very insightful. So what you will see is that their AUM or asset under management or the total bucket of money that they are managing that has really exploded with time. Now what happens? Now you need to ask yourself a basic question. Ki bhai dekho, portfolio churn industry mein is around like 60-70%. Their portfolio churn was 222% last year. Why? Kuch to inne change kiya hoga, right? The simple answer there is that right now, even right now, their AUM is not as big as other big large corporate houses. So usually what happens is that if there is a star performing mutual fund, a, it gets copied by others, its investing style gets copied by others. B, even its own portfolio becomes bigger and bigger and it becomes more and more difficult for them to maintain their churn. So if the winning advantage of quant mutual fund is that it can churn around its portfolio or sell buy things very, very rapidly and quickly, that advantage will go away. Why? Because selling at Warren Buffett's volume is very, very difficult for anyone. Selling at my volume where I have a few crores in the stock market, that is very easy. This is not an allegation or a personal attack on quant mutual fund. I am an investor. I am giving information to retail investors. You do whatever I like. I am just simply presenting my research with you. Now third key point that you need to know is that mutual fund managers struggle to keep a track of the returns that they are making from their portfolio. You tell me in the comment box or do you know the exact return of your mutual fund portfolio? When was the last time you checked it? So since most people don't check it, they don't even bother understanding what is a good return versus a bad return. So let me tell you this is that if you are a smart investor, you can easily make 16% return Kagar in the market. Why is that the case? Because through index investing in India, which is the easiest form of investing, you can make 12.2% Kagar. This is what math tells us and the historic return over the last 20 years tells us. So if you buy on dips, what is the meaning of buy on dips? So take a look at Nifty 50 chart here. See 2008, see 2020. These were dips opportunity where you could have purchased. So if you buy heavily during dip phases or time correction phases, is. I talk about several such strategies on my course and do live meeting also and we have built a community where people help each other out. So if you are interested, you can join that. You will learn many such strategies. So back to strategies, if you are buying during time correction, when significant time has passed, market has not given returns or you buy on dips, you can make 16% return. Now I know a lot of people will disagree. I agree, right? You have to be patient. You have to learn about stock market, but making 16% is not that complicated. Now the counter argument I get is that Akshat, you know what? I'll keep on doing like index investing. 12% to one rain. Why even learn about anything else? Okay. So here is the math. And let me show you two, three data sets. So for example, if you are investing an amount of 25,000 at a return of 12% for a period of 10 years. So assume that you're 30 years old. This is what your portfolio will look like at 12% return. Now let's change the number. Let's make it 16% return. Now how much money are you making? 74 lakhs for a period of 10 years. By the time you are 40, you will say, yaar, kya hi farak gaya? 58 tha, 74 ho gaya. what's the big deal? Okay. 
okay why should i do all this zigzag of learning like individual stock investing okay the situation changes completely if you do it for a period of 30 years so if you are in your 30s if you are in your 40s even if you are in your 50s and if you see yourself investing for the next 30 years it is going to have a magic impact on your portfolio take a look at this so for example so if you do the analysis at 12% for a period of 30 years your total portfolio size comes out to be 8.82 crores now just change this number to 16 and it's almost 2.6 2.7 times your portfolio and that is the difference between generating wealth for yourself and you becoming rich versus your future generation becoming rich it is absolutely true that you will get rich in the stock market if you just simply do equities no problem but unless you learn direct stock picking it is unlikely that your future generations will become extremely rich through you now comes the fourth point that people don't really understand how much commissions they are actually paying to their mutual fund agents or mutual fund managers for example check this snippet what you will see is that they have some kind of expense ratio associated with it plus they have like exit load sometimes when you withdraw money this that so if you add all these commissions it will easily come out to be between 1 to 2% for non index funds i invest almost 90% of my mutual fund money in index funds i'll explain it to you in a minute why also but the short answer there is that commissions come hota hai but if you are going for non index funds then the amount of commission charge on you are crazy 1 to 2% percent. i'll say 1 to 2% kya farak pad jata hai 1 to 2% se itna kya nuksan ho gaya 1 to 2% se expert is managing my money okay that's 1 to 2% of the total money that you are giving now in a good year when your stock portfolio generates return then you are paying a part of your profit but do you know how much i'll do the computation with you and in the years when your portfolio is not generating anything in fact it is in negative then also you end up paying this 1 to 2% commission so let me quickly run you through the math and hopefully it will help you understand things better so let's say that you invest 1 lakh rupee and your money grows at 10% okay so 1 lakh will become how much it will become 1.1 lakh right and you are paying 2% on the entire this amount right so how much are you getting so you are getting 1.08 lakhs as your final amount and how much commissions have you paid okay so one way of looking at it is that you know i have paid 2% of commissions on my aum or another way of saying it is that you have paid 20% commissions on your profits now you tell me please as to why mutual fund industries do not say directly that hey we are going to charge 15% or 20% of your profits if you make and in case you are making losses also then also in that year we are going to charge you crazy amount of money so please understand that don't compare things as per the principle that you are bringing to the table please calculate the profits profits is what you take away from the market principal is what you bring in so loss of principal is definitely very bad but the market rewards you if you are taking the profits away now comes the next important point as to when you should be exiting the mutual fund okay so exiting mutual funds is not too different from exiting stocks now of course i can't teach you in 2 minutes how to exit like a mutual fund but i'll tell you some basic points and tomorrow i am going to write a community post on wisdom hatch on this specific topic but let me walk you back as to why you need to book profits is critical so in the last 1 and a half years the stock market has not done anything literally you have gotten zero results if you would have invested in nifty 50 during a down phase you are sitting nothing is happening now these type of phases keep on happening this happened after 2008 also that from here to here you made like literally no money now there are phases is from here to here no money this is a phase going on from here to i don't know till where you will not make any money therefore it becomes important for you to understand that little bit of intelligent market timing is critical to grow your portfolio but in retail investors case what happens is that we panic sell when markets are falling we will stop our sips we will withdraw our sips try try mach gayi market ya covid ho gaya 2020 now world will never come up russia ukraine crisis ho gayi you know what putin is going to like capture north korea also and bomb like us also and whatever stuff so there's like so much try try that happens that people just panic especially retail investors and we sell our stuff on a loss and go away from the market that is literally the worst time to sell your stuff if any kind of panic situation happens you should not sell stuff you should sell stuff when market becomes little bit overvalued now what is the meaning of overvalued for example if i ask you a simple question and let me show you one year data what do you think markets currently are are they overvalued or undervalued forget about that you know any finance economics stock market you tell me you look at this pattern you understand basic maths no right so you tell me and you basically just tell me that do you think that markets right now are overvalued or undervalued 
you tell me and write your comment in the description box i will also paste my answer in the pinned comment now while i can't explain you all the fundamentals in one go i hope you got the point that it is very important to book profits even on mutual fund because market exhibits significant time correction do not panic sell it you should be selling it when markets get a little bit overvalued not when markets are falling please don't make that mistake you are going to incur significant losses so now comes the final point about the mutual fund industry and if you understand psychology you will understand this point more now see mutual fund managers have very little to no incentive to give you 15 20% cagr every year you will say that okay this is a very irrational statement to make why are you saying it okay so think about it fact number 1 is that almost 78 79% of active mutual fund investors do not beat the index in large cap category this is a fairly big number a related point here is now retail investors what choice do we have our first option is let go to fd or invest in like government bonds so how much money are you going to make best case scenario if you find the best government bond you are at most going to make 8% returns now if a mutual fund manager knows that you know what that fd may this person is going to make 6 7% return bonds may 8 9% return then what is the target return that they are hitting 10% that is all they will be eyeing you will say ki no why can't they target like 15 20% okay so let me tell you a story of parents for example imagine that you are a very bright student you score 95% marks in class 10th you worked hard in class 12th but your marks did not come you got like 90% will your parents be happy or unhappy the answer is parents will be very unhappy they will say that you know what you scored like 95 in 10th now you are scoring 90 now isi rate pe chalta raha to college mein you will fail now imagine scenario b that in class 10th you scored 75% now in class 10th you scored 85% Will your parents be happy? Yes, they'll say, "Yeah, not." हमने तो expect करा था, you will get 70, but here you have killed it, man. So 85 marks. Let's go and party. So this is the same scenario that plays out in the retail customer segment also. Now we become the parents of mutual fund managers. If mutual fund managers start giving you 15, 20 percent cagr, what will be your expectation next year? भाई 20 जनरेट करा है ट्वेंटी फाइव करके दिखाओ थर्टी करके दिखाओ थर्टी फाइव करके दिखाओ देन देर इज नो एंड टू दिस सो दे पिक अ वेरी बेसिक थिंग कि यार टेन परसेंट बीट करना है बिना रेस्क लिए कर देंगे वॉट ऑप्शन डू यू हैव यू हैव एफ डी यू आर एनी वेज नॉट गोइंग टू इन्वेस्ट एंड डायरेक्ट स्टॉक्स बॉन्ड्स में आपको बहुत ज्यादा रिटर्न मिलेगा नहीं सो ले देखे यू विल कम टू अस फॉर दैट टेन परसेंट रिटर्न इन गेस वॉट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पीपल आर डूइंग दैट एंड दैट माई फ्रेंड इज द रीजन वाई यू विल नॉट गेट रिच बाई इन्वेस्टिंग इन म्यूचुअल फंड अनलेस यू लर्न डायरेक्ट स्टॉक इन्वेस्टिंग एंड स्टार्ट मेकिंग सम मिस्टेक्स इन द मार्केट यू will never amplify your learnings and create crazy amount of wealth i hope you enjoyed this video do share it with your friends and i'll see you soon